Imagine a tiny remote controlled object flying over your yard taking pictures. That's what one man says happened to him, and now those pictures are being used in court. He feels like this is an invasion of his privacy. So, IT made Stephanie Zeppelin set to find out whether he's right. Well, drones are usually a fun and harmless way to get cool pictures from way up in the sky. We looked all over for someone who could talk about using those photos in court. And in doing so, we learned there are actually very few rules. From State Road 42, you would never guess what's on the other side of this fence. No, he there. You have to wait, Harry. This is William Morrison's emu farm. I call him Harry because he's all fluffy on the top. He started raising emus a few years ago. He's not mean. He's just a pig. But Morrison bought this 35-acre property in Cloverdale back in 1985. Sonny and I were young, and bulletproof. We've planted trees and ginseng and vegetable crops and had livestock over the years and minded our own business. But as you might have already guessed, it has not gone as planned. Neighbors moved in near his property and the way he tells it, they had an issue with all the stuff he kept there. I built privacy fans. I've gone to great expense and great effort to appease and they just keep moving the goalposts farther back. Neighbors went to the county saying Morrison's property is in violation of county ordinances. And the way Morrison says they figured out what's behind this fence? Drones. These pictures taken with the drone were brought as evidence against Morrison. He's even been on his property and seen the drone flying overhead. I had to literally throw my retirement away because they won't mind their own business. So IT mate took off to find out what are the rules about drones. Safety concern with flying drones is, is very huge. The FAA takes it very serious. Joel Stein is a video storyteller for Butler University. Drone plays into the cinematography part of uh, marketing. Uh, we like to get some aerial shots that can really show campus. He spent a week studying for the certification test to fly drones. They're asking questions about weather formations, flight patterns, how to read sectional maps. It's a very lengthy process. And there are a lot of rules. You can't fly over 400 feet, you should be more than five miles from an airport, and you have to be able to see the drone at all times. And that's the issue in Morrison's case. Because they flew it from over there. He does not believe these photos could be taken while the drone was within eyesight when these trees are full. Most of us will say, as a matter of sort of colloquial, our backyard is a private space. So what does it mean when a drone flies over my backyard? Is that invading my privacy? Is it reasonable? Ken Falk is the legal director for the American Civil Liberties Union of Indiana. From a constitutional perspective, obviously we're concerned whenever the government is invading ec privacy uh, spaces where we have that reasonable expectation. And I think we also be believe and, and realize that that sense of expectation of privacy is evolving. We asked him the question at the center of all this. So is a backyard private? And it's a tough question to answer. I would argue that it could very well be, but it depends. I think it's something that everybody needs to be aware of. Nobody, I don't care if you live in an apartment, can live by the rule that they're trying to impose. Huh. Morrison says the court found he was violating parts of their ordinance. He's still waiting for a final answer from a judge on what equipment he will be allowed to keep on his property. It's such a relevant discussion for this day and age. You know, you would think that your backyard would be private. You heard Ken Falk with the ACLU there say it could be. It depends. What does it depend on? So Ken says it's all about what's reasonable, and some of that is kind of an expectation that you set forth. So if you have a 20-foot privacy fence, you're making a message clear to your neighbors that this is private property and, and you shouldn't snoop Which over. he has. Correct. Uh, if you have, you know, maybe a shorter fence and you have peep over all the time and chat with your neighbor across it, you're setting the expectation that, you know, this is a breachable area. So some of it is, is also set forth from, from the homeowners.